Welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with a uh, new weapon-specific video. And uh, we're actually going to be playing the clicker class, and I've never done that before. So, come on, thank you. And, yep, wooden clicker. So we actually can make a, at least a wooden weapon. <laughs> Got a leaf one already, too. Nice. Alright. So, we have this ring around us. That is the range of the clicker. Okay. I wonder if there's like a cactus one or something. And maybe palm wood too. Let's try that. Alright. Uh, let's see, we need our workbench back down. Just a wooden one so far. Okay. Hey, it's a slime boy. It's not bad. I mean, you do have to be kind of precise with ow, your clicker, but uh, really not terrible. So, all right, you can find. Oh, look, it's raining. And crimson. Okay. Rare face monster. All right, well, second night in the world and it's a blood moon. But I got a hemo clicker as a random drop from a dribbler. And every so often it, uh, how many clicks is it? Every 10 clicks, it does that. And it's got much better range than the wood clicker was actually using a lead clicker for quite a while when I was doing some caving to get heart crystals and stuff. And, uh, that was definitely an improvement. Yeah, do not stick with wooden clicker if you can avoid it. Because the range is key. I also got, um, Hermes boost with reaching on it, which is plus 15% range. No, stop that. Nine ninety nine. Good shot, Star. All right, so I did manage to find a gravitation potion while I was underground as well. So I figured, yeah, good time as any to look for Sky Islands, right? Well, the potion just wore out, but I did manage to find. The starry clicker. Which every, what is it like, 14? Yeah, 14 clicks. It uh, drops a star from the sky. I, I kind of like the Hema clicker better. But I figured, hey, where's the dungeon? Or the dungeon, the jungle. So. It's maybe, you know. See if we can get some jungle supplies. What I need to do is, uh... Oh, we're at the beach already. Okay. Uh, I need to look at all the recipes. Oh, there's our sleeping angler for this mod and see what we got. Jungle surface. I don't even have a fishing rod yet or bait, so... Probably not going to do a whole lot of fishing this playthrough. Although I might. I might. Oops. 
Hey, speaking of which, I just got a free Spelunker's Potion. Nice. Somewhat helpful slime. Now I'm curious. Bamboo. Hey, Rana. Come here. Give me a hook. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alright, nice. Even the Pranas will see. Well, slime rain and look who showed up finally. And that was easy. Hey, slime ring's done. Good. All right. What do we got? Sticky keychain. Every 10 clicks, damaging sticks a damaging slime onto your screen. Uh, all right. Got a couple pieces of ninja armor. Trophy, got the relic, and the royal gel. Oh, and the slime hook. I just got that grappling hook too. Uh, we'll keep the relics for now, I guess. Alright. So, there you are, Frank. Yeah, I just gotten back to the jungle after another blood moon, and uh, as soon as I get down to basically where I had died at, slime rain started. And it's like really, all right. You know it is nighttime now, so Easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, this thing is kind of leveled up, so. Hey, Crimtain, nice. Shadow candle. Huh. I completely forgot about that item existing. Ooh, crimson armor, actually. That would be... Well, I need to beat the Brain of Cthulhu first. Sinister clicker. Uh, return attack siphon. Deals a small amount of damage and restores players' health by five. Okay... And in a furnace, I can switch it over as well. Okay. Let me get an get a demonite then. Now let's see what the corruption clicker looks like. Uh, this guy. Dark burst deals damage in a large area of effect. I mean, how many of those do I need? I need eight. Okay. I can make both actually, and then I'll just play around with them and see what I prefer. So, Sinister Clicker, Dark Clicker. All right. Um, kind of want to farm the eyeball some more. Nothing else, it's pretty decent money. Do I want the shield for now? Hmm, no. I'll, I'll take the money for now instead. Oh, I meant to 
fill those off. All right, and then let's go here and get some bombs. Sweet. Oh, we have a goblin army approaching now. And I've gotten two hearts broken now. Hey, that was easy enough. And I got the brain in a jar. Brain of confusion. Alright. Well, let's... Oh, that's pretty basic. And arms dealer just showed up. Sweet. So I can sell you stuff. We've got a shadowy clicker. First, huh? There's a shadow plane skull towards the nearest enemy. Hmm. Could be good. Uh, let's see. I can sell those off as well. Reaching, huh? They're both reaching. All right. Flare gun. We'll sell that stuff off. Alright, well, let me go ahead and just keep that on. Let's get ourselves some shadow armor then, right? Um, yeah, I'll keep that on my hotbar for now. Ah, I need more crimson. Okay. 70 should be enough for the entire set, right? guess that, yeah, I don't have enough tissue samples for the pick. Alright. <laughs> Golfer and goblin side by side, basically. And we'll buy that. We'll buy that for now. Need one more life crystal. Uh, yeah, I don't need that one either. Or the invisibility potion, or archery, because, you know, bows, come on here. Alright, so, got an herb farm started, because why not? Uh, we got our tinkerer here, golfer, made more housing. How expensive is it to reforge stuff? Oh, okay, it's not bad at all then. Elite, I think, is the best, yep. And then, Sinister Clicker. And elite. All right, cool. I also got shadowy clicker from the goblins, and then the hardy clicker from a life crystal of all things, actually. And it drops these little fake hearts every once in a while, but I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. So, so you can pick them up for health, but I've not been able to pick up a single one of them. So, but these two are going to go away for now. And I like that. Uh, one thing that did happen, though, is a meteor landed. So I want to go grab some of that. Oh, now. that took almost no time at all to find. Ow. On fire. There we go. Is that 600? Wow. Oh, 
love floating island. For fishing. Snowball Canada. Okay. Not something I can use, but sure, why not? Base case. That is what I wanted. Goblin Scout. Fine, I don't need another Goblin Summon, so. I mean, Keychain is pretty nice, though, whenever you uh, want to mow the grass. I wonder if there's anything in here. Eh. Lots of boxes in here, but uh, really not all that great of stuff. I've already got a radar, so. Let's see another box down there. Oh, you little jerk. Looks like that's it for the, well, this tree anyway. Hey, thank you. Right. Yeah, let's go with the sinister. Hey, we got it. All right. Nothing really special. Still under the kill time by 10 seconds, which is not bad. I'm going to want at least one of those. Heart statue might not be a bad idea either. There was a clicker here. The slick clicker. Mm -hmm. 
And a shadow key, okay. Uh, we got money and gravitation. I don't really care about the rest of that. Keys. I have one key on me. Okay. I have two keys. What do we got? Blue moon. I'll take the tungsten, but the potion, I guess. Dynamite too, right? box is just in the wrong spot. Oh, more spikes? Great. Cobalt shield. There we go. I think I've got just about everything I want out of here, and including apparently a glass of milk. Uh, gain up to 15% quicker damage based on your mana clicks within a second. And I looked it up before, that actually combines with the cookie that the merchant sells to uh, combine both effects. Alright, so, in the underworld. Yeah, this is the Slick Clicker. It's a... Uh, kind of like an Aqua Scepter effect. And... I guess we'll take the baby imp pet for now. I need a health forge too, actually. Oh, almost missed that. A hey, over we go. Umbral clicker, shadow lash. Oh, I like that better. I don't think we need. I'll take the platinum though. Another shadow chest down there. Two of them, actually. A wing bow, don't really care.
don't think I'm going to need a mana regen potion ever in this playthrough, so... And we've got 291 hellstones so far, so basically just need a hellforge. And then see what we can find. And there's a hellforge. Alright, so we're back, and... Got lucky, Traveling Merchant was here and he sold me the Sitting Duck's Fishing Rod. Alright, let me go here. There is the Red Hot Quicker we can make. Which has Inferno on it. Creates an explosion dealing damage and inflicting the oiled and on fire debuffs. And I need to put this in here too. But I forgot that was there still. And cookies and milk. While equipped cookies will periodically spawn within your clicker radius, click the cookie to gain bonus clicker damage, radius, and life regen. And then up to gain up to 15% depending on speed. Now, are these... Nope, there's no materials involved with these, huh? Kind of a missed opportunity not to have a, uh, like a Knight's Edge type of clicker, but oh well. And chocolate chip. Every 15 clicks releases a burst of damaging chocolate. And that's the final form for that. Okay. I'm thinking maybe instead of the sticky keychain. I'll do that. I did reforge my umbral clicker, so let me. Grab my spawner. There we go. but everything else I can sell. I didn't try this out at all. Go find like a zombie or something. damage per tick, huh? Yeah, I think I'd rather prefer the uh, not red hot clicker. Right. Yeah, the umbral clicker. There we go. I might as well sell the crimtain too. I don't really need it, so... And if I need to farm up any Crimtain, I can just hit up the Eye of Cthulhu again. It's not exactly a, an issue to take out at this point. I did notice, however, there is an armor set I should be able to make. Yeah, the Motherboard suit. Increases click damage. Okay. Helmet increases base click radius by 20. Okay. And increases click damage. So bonus, right click to place a radius extending sensor. Okay. Well, that'll come in handy for like the eyeball. Alright, put that away. 
Okay, here, let me do this at quicker. There is also the influence potion. Increase your base click radius by 20%. Hmm. That's, this is everything I can make right now. This is everything in the mod that we can make. There's quite a bit of stuff in hard mode from the looks of things. You know, Orcalcum, Cobalt, Palladium, Web Clicker. Oh, from Spider Fangs. Okay. Mithril Crimson is from Icor. Corrupt is from Crystal Flames. Crystals from Crystal Shards. Okay. Adamantite Titanium. Arthur's Clicker is Hallowed. Orphite. Spectre. Lizard, Shroomite, Astral, and Mice Clicker. I have no idea what Mice Fragments are. They might come from Pillars, though. Thing is, that's 112 quick damage, so... Dungeon Chest. What? Really? Dungeon Key. Interesting. Apparently there's another chest in the dungeon. Sweet. The Gamer Crate, Chanted LED, Soda, Mouse Pad, Hand Cream. I don't think someone actually play this, do you? Increases click damage by 10%. Base click radius by 50%. Reduces the amount of clicks required for click effect by 20%. Clicks produce an enchanted burst of mechanical light while accessory is visible. Pressing the clicker accessory key will toggle auto click on all clickers. When auto click is enabled, click rates are moderately decreased. Okay, and there's the master keychain. Hot keychain, clear keychain, and sticky, which we already have. Clear, I imagine, would come from Queen Slime. Uh, let's see, S metal. Okay. Soul of Night. Soul of Light. Okay, and then afterwards we can combine it all together for this. We'll be gold up clicker, critical strikes, clicker radius, and clicker effects. Huh. Interesting. Regal clicking glove. The regular clicking glove. Oh, silk. Okay. So I can make that now. Combat automatically clicks your current clicker every two seconds. And then ancient is ancient cloth. Okay. Every second, and then every half a second. Okay, cool. Let's see. So we have the Motherbird set. The next one is the RGB set, it looks like. Okay, Rainbow Brick and Crystal Shards. Then Overclock is Souls of Fright and Hallow Bars. Precursor is Solar Tablet Fragments. Then the Mice set, which is Post Moon Lord, looks like. Okay. Mouse Trap. Anvil and a Graveyard Biome. Okay. Increases click damage by 15%. Clicks have a small chance to briefly curse you. Yeah, I don't like that idea. Okay, so we can make the glove right now. So let me... Balloon Maid. I think I only need like 15, so... And the Quicking Glove. I'm not going to bother equipping it right now, but I'm going to just have it on hand, basically. Alright. I'm going to farm up some potions now. And there we go. I figured, why not? You know, uh, it's gonna be a fight, right? It's just really small hive here. All right, come on, get over here so I can actually hit you. That was really quick. <laughs> I like it. All right, um. There is the Honey Glazed Clicker. One click, Sticky Honey. Covers enemies under cursor and Sticky Honey slowing them. Hmm. Come on, get 
Oh, honey. Thank you. I don't think I'm going to need honey blocks for anything, but it wouldn't hurt, right? Alright, well, I have one more guy to off before hard mode, right? He, well, let me check here. Um, Deer Clops, right? Loot and collectibles. He does have a clicker. Okay. All right. So yeah, insanity. Shaman. As soon as a shadowy claw that strikes the area. I prefer Shadow Lash, I think. And I still have the Sinister Clicker on, because why not? I need money, though. <laughs> really need money. I'm, I've got a Platinum, but... Nope. I summoned him too early. Actually, I shouldn't say him. Uh, I summoned ten of them just there, so... Of course, the cookie doesn't really last all that long, does it? Hmm. All right. And I don't think imbuing is going to be any good. We got Party Girl. She sells sound effects buttons. Change sign you click or you click make while you're in, in your inventory. Yeah, no, not keeping that one either. There was one earlier, it was a, I think it was a pig oinking, every time he clicked. I am keeping though, and I just bought this from the Traveling Merchant. Alright. sell for 46 gold per 10 of them. Okay. Zero clicks per second? Okay. So, I can get up to nine clicks. Alright. That works, I guess. Oh, hey. It's an enchanted nightcrawler. Not anymore. Alright. So, I did get a new uh, clicker. Dream Clicker, and it, it popped out of a falling star, I think. So, all right, let me. Hard mode. What do we get? Breaker played. Oh, we got the clicker emblem. Okay, nice. Badger's hat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got the hammer. We got a summoner emblem as well. Demon heart. Let's just go ahead and check uses for this here before I equip it. Pretty basic. Turns into the Avenger emblem. Okay. Or 
breaker blade though, that's a shame. Alright, so we got the Burning Super Death Clicker. Six clicks mania. Randomly acts as any possible lesser clicker effect. Okay, see, it's just all sorts of madness going on here. Okay. Oh, hey, hello. Sweet. So, yeah, this might be my new favorite for now. Actually, I should probably go get some demon altars first, right? Is it using that one? Cobalt. jungle house there. Where are all the crimson altars at in here? Let's <laughs> see. There's one there and there's two there. That is... Alright. Mithril, adamantite. Okay, so we have the three original ores. Turned into long pig. Oh well. Not a huge loss. Oh, let's check the traveling merchant here. What do you got, guy? Uh, soda and button masher. Okay. Yeah. Stuff I've already gotten. Tripled map, nice. I goofed. <laughs> I meant to mess around with this clicker, but uh, yeah, whoops. Yeah, I did get the heart back. Okay, cool. Wow. Yeah. They hit kind of hard, don't they? Well, one thing I could do is actually reforge my burning death... Burning super death clicker. Okay, I'll take it. Then we also had this, the magnet clicker. One click, yoink. Grabs items and coins near your cursor. So it's just a magnet. I bought that from the mechanic for like a platinum, so. Okay, let's try this again without the really nasty surprise we had. the sinister instead. He didn't despawn, okay.
There she is. She teleported on top of me. Hey, she just spawned this time. Okay. All right, so cobalt. We can get the cobalt pick now. And I already went ahead and made this the uh, cobalt clicker. Dive clicks haste. It grabs a jump boost and increased movement speed. It only lasts for like five seconds. So you have to, you know, constantly use it or scroll back and forth or whatever. And I should have saved one bar so I could check uses. Alright, Kyle. Uh, just the clicker. And I can turn it into Palladium if I want. I think I need eight bars for the clicker. Palladium clicker. Regenerate grants a rapid healing buff. Life regeneration is greatly increased. Every nine clicks. Okay. I mean, not bad, but... Probably not ones I'm going to use. Now I need to go after Mithril. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to him about Mithril. And... So yeah, I went ahead and made the clickers. It doesn't look like there's anything else of interest, really. Uh, Mithril clicker. Then clicks for Brittle. Uh, clicks will deal 8 extra damage to this target. And then Orichalcum. Petal Storm causes 5 uh, petal projectiles to be summoned near the player and shoot across the screen. I mean, better, but... Uh, kind of wanting to see... I had the trifold already, right? Yeah, okay, that was an extra. I want to see what Titanium and Adamantite are going to do. Alright. So, for Adamantite, we've got, okay, Amulet of Sandstorms, Amulet of Rain, Really Heavy Boulder, Titanium Bars, the Clicker, we got Armor and stuff. Put a little stuff now. So, the Clickers, uh, 10 clicks, True Strike, deals double damage, always inflicts a critical hit. Okay. Razor's Edge fires out five orbiting saw blades that spread outwards. That one kind of sounds fun, actually. What's the base damage on that now? 47, huh? Yeah, maybe let's go ahead and reforge our titanium one here. We go elite and that is definitely an upgrade of the dream clicker all right let's put that away then um sinister i don't know if i'm gonna bother trying to deal with that at click right so our next suit of armor is the rgb which i need rainbow bricks which needs to be raining need a frost core. Okay. Let's go bully some stuff here in the uh, the hallow for a bit. Hey, I see you over here.
All right. Found the wizard too. Doesn't really do anything. All right. Let's try this again. How did I dodge that? I don't know. Hey, Queen Slime is dead. Great. You know, I don't want to deal with you guys. All right. Volatile gelatin, we got crystal assassin, hood and pants. Okay, let's look at Queen Slime. Loot and collectibles. Clear keychain. Yep, it does come from her. Okay. I have to farm her up a bit then it looks like. Alright, so I gooped. And uh Okay, it's nighttime now. I beat the mechanicals when I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so. I did make the Arthur's clicker, but I'm liking the saw blades from Titanium just more. Alright. It's twins. Destroyer now. And the destroyer just gets shredded by this thing. Oh, I dang it, I summoned 10 of them again. And it glitches out when you do that, and you end up with just heads. Alright, that took a little bit, but they're dead. Yeah, I summoned 10 destroyers. Whoops. Uh, shot. Let's sell off excess stuff here. Yeah, I'm just going to sell that off. I don't care. And then last is going to be Skeletron. This is from that amulet, by the way. The uh, the S amulet. You hold your cursor in the little orbs here, and it fills up these gauges that can then uh, will deplete as you're fighting enemies or whatever. There we go. Yeah, just do that. I don't care. But that was all three mechanicals. I did manage to make the overclocked armor. Uh, increases quick damage by 5%, 15%, and then movement speed by 10. Every 100 clicks briefly against you overclocked, reducing the amount of clicks required for a quick effect by 50%. While it's active, you do 25% less damage. I've got these. I just feel so slow right now. Let's do that. Yep, not a whole lot better. Oh, hello. Cephalopod. We just got the chocolate chip. Nice. Okay. Wondering where to get that from. 
So you go in there and then milk and cookies becomes chocolate milk and cookies. Oh, uh, cute. Reforge that. Be either menacing or lucky. There we go. And right now our yeah, 29 and 24. So yeah, the Arthur's does that. The titanium does the saw blades, which uh I'm liking the saw blades better, you know, more. There we go. Heading over the jungle because I have a planetary spawner and I just ran into a cactus because I'm not looking at where I'm going. Hey. There it goes. Right. Yeah, this will work. Oh yeah, that's right. Planetary enrages on the surface. <laughs> but still though, look at the damage I did. Twenty one thousand damage in that little bit of time. Uh is it coming for me? Nope, okay, it despawned. Oh wow, lightning bugs. There we go. Alright, this is good enough because I'm lazy. Hey, Pleasure is dead. We got Aaron set. Okay. Oh, it's one of the spiky balls. Okay. Mask. We got a spore sack. Harvester parts. What is making the, the bloop noise and stuff? Because it's not that. Oh, it's chocolate milk, I guess. Oh, yeah. Every 15 clicks, release a burst of damage and chocolate. So I need to get some chlorophyte now. All right, so back at base, and we have the cyborg we haven't talked to yet, and the steampunker. Desktop computer from the clicker class. This is the amount of clicks required for a click effect by 10%. Can be placed. Nice. FPB goggles. Water racer drone. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And Minerva. We need cogs from you because there was that thing. And Oops. sure I like that. All right, well, Kyle. What was the thing for the cogs? It was. Portable particle accelerator. Uh, fifty percent your click her radius deal eight more damage. Eh, probably not. Or fight. Lizard detector. Okay, that's kind of cool. Or fight clicker. Sixty toxic release. Expels ten poisonous clouds around the cursor that linger. Okay, that could be good. Core fight. All right, amateur, huh? I mean, that's not bad. 
Could be better though. We can get this thing to elite. Yep, there we go. And let's see, let's put that away. Those need to go away as well. That can go away as well. That is our umbral clicker, which was still in my hotbar, and Arthur's clicker. Okay, I mean, not bad damage, really. All right. I did go ahead and go to the dungeon, and I got myself a... Uh, Spectre Clicker as well. And, uh, it has a nice ability of... Oh, wow, cool. Phase Reach damages enemies regardless of location. I mean, I can... Yeah. Do not need line of sight with this one, which is great in here. Go. Let's go ahead and crack that open. And I guess I'm gonna have to farm golem for a bit. All right, so I got the precursor set now. This is made out of solar tablet fragments. While in combat, your cursor constantly leaves behind damaging after images. what it means by in combat. Oh, I wanted to reforge my... I made the destroyer emblem as well. Put those away. And... Yep, menacing will work. So we're now at 319 click damage. And 39% uh, crit. Oh yeah, and there's the after images. Sweet. All right. This guy, I believe, has a clicker as well that I can get from him, so I might have to harm up the Duke a bit. How can I just heal 10 there? There we go. And yeah, we didn't get either the wings or tank the quicker. All right, got it. And sea spray slows down or slows nearby enemies and allows you to steal life from them. Let's see if I can actually find an enemy now. everybody. Okay. 
seriously. Like, where's people? There you are. I'm not seeing the sea spray effect, though. Oh, there we go. Okay. Mm. Don't see that really being of that a, much of an effect on bosses. I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, true might. Grants auto click buff, reducing the use time, but granting auto use. No. Oh, wave three. Not having any real problems so far, which is good. Alright. Now, let's look at this, right? Oh, I actually did manage to make the, the gamer crate, too. The LED I was missing is found in gold chests in the underground. And it doesn't look like anything's made out of spooky wood. Okay. All right, so we got, I think it was from a pumpkin. The witch clicker. Pretty good starting damage. Four clicks, wild magic. Randomly acts as any possible effect. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It is definitely an upgrade to a burning super death clicker. So it's going to replace that. And... Uh, let's see. No, not you. Uh, shop. I need to get rid of some stuff here. I don't need that. Yeah. I haven't been using uh, the pet. And there we go. All right, so just got done with the event. Presence creates a burst of parachute presence that can be clicked to release mines. Oh, that's kind of cool. But uh, I'm honestly, I'm in love with the witch clicker. I mean, it's every four clicks, and it's just something random happens. And some of the things are just flat nasty. There's one that uh, basically turns into a turret, which is awesome. Like machine gun turret. So, I'm trying to get it to happen now. That's uh, solar eclipse for that one. Hmm. Alright, and... The Eclipse Clicker. Totality creates miniature Eclipse repeatedly firing out homing projectiles. Uh, let's see, we got Pro. Okay. I have a broken bat wing. Hmm. That. No, the fish on wings are going to be better. There it goes. Yeah, that's one of the effects that the the witch clicker can do, though. So it's like that away. Probably don't need that either. But the naughty clicker and the ecliptic clicker. Let's go weapons at clicker. Uh, let's see, crimson clicker. I mean, at an I core. Crystal Clicker. 
I haven't tried that one yet either. I just went straight for like the adamantite and titanium one. Then the lizard quicker. So the lizard quicker, solar flare, spawns a lingering sun projectile that damages and inflicts oiled and on fire debuffs. Oh, okay. Crystal clicker does what now? Inflicts confused. Yep. And then crimson fires eight icor streams at home in on enemies. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I'm not going to use them. They're early hard mode. So. Alright. So, I guess pillars are next, right? Alright. Time to kill ourselves a cultist. Dang it. Uh. <laughs> yep, I just sit here and just tank. <laughs> And it, uh, yeah, it dies so much quicker. And the uh, solar or the uh, pillar enemies are hurting a lot more than the freaking lunatic cultists did. Oh, yeah, see. All right, well. Okay, well, full of pillars down. All right. There we go. And we got my fragments. Okay. All right, Kyle, what do we do with these? Yeah, it's the wings, armor, mice brick, okay. Drill. Ah, astral clicker and the mice clicker. So spiral, creates a spiral galaxy, draws in enemies within close proximity. There's out eight erratic bolts. Uh, fires out eight erratic bolts outwards that, after a second, collapse back. So, I have enough to make one of these. And actually, I don't. I, I have, I'm like three short. Also, yeah, there we go. All right, well, Stardust Pillar's down. Hold more fragments? Okay. I can make one of those now. One of the clickers. Either the Mice Clicker or Astral Clicker. Yeah, Astral first. Yeah, I've not been using that one. I should not have put that in there. The seafoam one in there too, along with him a clicker. They should be in here. Alright, so Okay, I mean not bad.
All right, vortex pillar time. Stop with me, you little bugs. Last pillar. There we go, and then that's that. I made another astral. Dang it. Ha. Ah. I meant to make the mice clicker, not the astral one. Is there a way? Right. Just from the pillars, there's no way to craft it. Dang it. It'd be nice if we could combine other essences into that, because you have to do the pillar event like three or four times with as little as you get. All right, come on, Moonord, where you at? There we go. Dang, I got hit twice by that beam. Well, good news is. Okay, so I need a sigil. This thing. And then I can craft it into that version. It does say instantly spawns it. Okay. And down. Wow. All right. Crack this thing open now. We got Luminite. Good. We got Lord's Clicker. Conqueror. Creates an area of pant area effect phantasmal explosion that deals double damage and a guaranteed critical hit. healing potions. Yeah, I should probably make more of those. Mm 
Okay, let me go through and reforge this then. Oh, dang it, delete. There we go. All right, so yeah, three moon, moon Lord and Pillar fights later. I have the full mice set. Uh, set bonus, right-clicking position within your clicker will teleport you to it. Okay, that sounds awesome. There's really no, like, chaos state debuff or anything that goes with it either, so... Sweet. Um, I also got the mice clicker. Oh, that is a lot of shots. And we also got the clicker. The click. Deals an additional 1% of the enemy's maximum life as damage. So. Yeah, that's uh, doing quite a bit. Um... Let me get this one down. Back to my lords quicker. Come on, there we go. There we go. And what did we get this time? A quick trip home first. Uh, we got Luminite. We've got nothing new, really. Okay. Let me look here. Oh, I never did the Empress or Betsy. Betsy has her own clicker, it looks like. What is the Empress? She's a rainbow clicker. Rainbolt. Releases multiple homing rainbow fragments. Hmm. That could have been good. Uh, let's see. Wyvern's War. Calls in a Wyvern to blast the area with flames. And then Moonlord has two clickers, looks like. The Lord's Clicker and the Clicker. Hmm. Didn't get to me. I'm your minecart either, huh? Or Celebration Mark II. Yeah, I got like a bunch of the same stuff over and over again. Hmm. Right. But I am going to go ahead and call this a video. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, this is Sign signing out. Have fun.